Well, I think I'm finally on the home straight with this JAP 250 engine that I've been building and I've come to the point now where I want time, well I have timed the magneto and um, the points are supposed to break open at 40 degrees before top dead centre at full advance and uh, all the info is there in the book you can see the 250 models there we've got valve timings as well but right on the end you can see we've got 40 degrees and that's uh, the fully advanced figure so that's taken from the book and uh, also what I've had to do is this magneto as well as rotating in the opposite direction to the engine because it's driven off uh, the camshaft it's also got its um, what's called uh, a tight wire full advance which means that this mechanism here the advanced retard mechanism is spring loaded but when it's relaxed it's in its retarded state so you've got to rely on the handlebar lever and cable pulling that up to give you full advance so what I've done is I've cable tied it up into the fully advanced position and I've got my degree wheel on the crank there that's set up I've also got a plunger in the plug hole so I've been able to sort of make sure that I've been able to zero the degree wheel to give me when I go 40 degrees either way either side of zero I've got equal amounts of piston descent uh, measured by that plunger there so I know that my zero is spot on and I'm using the letter A, the capital A in the middle of the JAP logo, the peak of that. I'm lining my uh, pointer line up with that, my degree wheel line up with that as a reference. And I've got, at the moment, I've got nearly 50 degrees before top dead centre. And what I'm going to do, hopefully, is put the camera down and we'll look at the points there. I'll rotate the engine and hopefully we'll see the points just break open and then we'll have a look at the degree wheel and see that it's on the 40. So here we go. There, they've just broken open there. And if we look at the degree wheel, there's our 40 and there's our peak of our letter A. So I know that fully advanced, the points are just breaking open when uh, the cable is pulled tightly. So the ignition timing on this engine is correct according to the book. So I can now uh, snip the cable tie and we'll probably see it spring back into its retarded position. There we are. That's now fully retarded. And you probably find that the points will open sort of at or around top dead centre now. In fact, we can give it a go and have a look, can we? But uh, that's set up how it wants to be. Let's bring it up to top dead centre, towards top dead centre, and watch those points. Hang on, we're going the wrong way, silly boy. Let's go. There we go. They're breaking open there. Just see them opening and closing as I rotate back and forth there. And that is at top dead centre. So I'm very happy with that. The ignition timing is spot on. I'll just tidy up a few loose ends on this engine now and I think it's probably ready to go back to its owner. It's been an interesting and uh, quite different project to uh, a lot of the stuff that I get to work on so it's been a refreshing change but just about all done now.